Hey everyone, how's it going today? This is Crypto Foxy. Thanks guys so much for stopping by my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about Bitcoin falling below 60K yet again. Uh, let's talk about why this is occurring and what we could potentially see uh, you know, in, in the uh, coming days. So let's jump into it. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency news. As we can see, Bitcoin has fallen down below 59K, down to 58,990 uh, at, current, at current time, down about 3.12% over the last day. Um, so we're also going to go take a look at the overall market. We're sitting at about 2.09 trillion, down about 2.2% over the last 24 hours. So we have a few uh, cryptos that are you know, still in the green. We have Toncoin at the top, Aave, we have Flare, Notcoin, uh, Zcash, and a few others uh, just trickling basically in a little bit into the green. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, you know much movement today other than our uh, Bitcoin has been you know, dropping down a little bit. So let's talk about why this is going on. So the U.S. government has sent a massive amount of Bitcoin to Coinbase. So originally this was communicated as... Uh, uh, the government was moving Bitcoin in large volume and people kind of uh, panicked over this, right? So Arkham uh, Intelligence says $593 million worth of Silk Road related Bitcoin have been moved to the Coinbase exchange. So the price of Bitcoin dipped after the U.S. government transferred nearly $2 billion worth of Bitcoin to exchanges. However, it turned out that the market overreacted a bit since these coins were simply sent out for custody. So this is the current news that I have right now. Um obviously take with it as you will you know this could potentially mean that they might be offloading some of their bitcoins or they could be just sending it for custody like mentioned so it could be because in early july the u.s crypto exchange secured a highly profile partnership with the u.s state marshal service so what that means is coinbase uh, prime is securely storing the government's confiscated coins so it doesn't necessarily mean that they are moving them to offload them but they are moving them obviously for custody um, using coinbase's service as a, a safe way for them to store them. The U.S. government remains the top holder of Bitcoin among world governments, according to da data provided by Bitcoin treasuries. A big chunk of the coins held by the U.S. government came from Silk Road. So that's what we've got uh, for you guys there. We've also had some inflation data come in today. It is better than expected. Um, so, you know, things could start to be turning around here for the crypto market and for Bitcoin as well uh, in the coming days because, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of potential um you know, opportunity for rate cuts in the coming uh, coming months for the Federal Reserve. And uh, I think that things are about to turn around, in my opinion. However, obviously things can happen as this is crypto and uh, these markets can be very, very volatile. But uh, I'm gearing up to uh, make some of my final purchases for the summer. Um, potentially going to be doing those over the next couple of weeks uh, into early September. And then I think, you know, we're, we're going to see probably the market come back with anticipation of rate cuts. And if that does go through, we could be gearing up for a pretty decent uh, fall, in my opinion. However, if obviously, if uh, the Federal Reserve decides that, you know, this is not the right time and they, they delay any rate cuts, we could see the market drop down further. I'm assuming, or no, I shouldn't say assume, I'm predicting that if that does happen, that we'll see lower values than we saw in our last previous Bitcoin crash or, or, or dip, whatever you want to call it. Um, but for right now, things are looking pretty decent, and uh, I'm anticipating that we might see a um, you know a rate cut come from the U.S. Fed, which will really uh, boost the financial markets, in my opinion. However, so that's what's going on with Bitcoin today. You know, things are uh, things are definitely moving around, and uh, you know, obviously, the anytime the government moves crypto, it's a cause for concern since they have so much Bitcoin. But that's what I got for you guys in this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next.